Hello, welcome to the next video in the Arcology series. Today we're talking about processor structures. So last time we talked about um, generators, so those are the types of structures that are going to make signals. Processors then do things with those signals, so they manipulate them in some way. The first one we're going to talk about is the gate. So we already touched on this in the fundamental structures episode. Um, I'm going to start by making a hive, and then I'm going to make a gate over here. So here's our gate. Um, I'm going to open up two ports on it. So we've got simply a hive sending signals to a gate, and then it's splitting those signals out through all the other open ports. Right now there's only one. So if we open it up to three, it's going to split it out to three. Um, so it's not a gate in the Euro rack sense or in the mathematics sense. It's a gate in the archaeological sense. It's something you, you walk through. It is a gate. So the signals pass through the gate and things happen. So this is the basic behavior that about half the structures in arcology has, which is when a signal hits it, it splits off and sending you open ports. But gates are different because if you have a closed port, it's one of the few structures that interacts with closed ports. So um, if we create another hive here, now what we'll see is as these signals alternate, oops, I accidentally made another one. As these signals alternate, we'll see the ports shifting so you can see on the Norn screen here, um, ports are displayed both on the grid and on the Norn screen. So every time a signal hits a closed port, it inverts all the, all the other ports. So you can get a lot of interesting patterns created with these. You know, you could chain multiple gates together. Uh, so if we put one up here, um, I don't even know could open up another component right here. So now we've got two hives and three gates, and then these two gates are operating on this one, and then that's creating different patterns over on itself. All right, so those are our gates. Now, solariums. What the heck are solariums? Well, they're part greenhouse and they're part solar panel. Um, start again, we're gonna make a hive, make a solarium right here. Okay, so solariums have uh, charge and capacity. Charge is how many signals it has stored up, and capacity is how many signals it can hold. And then once its capacity is met, oh, we found a bug. Once its capacity is met, it's supposed to release all of the signals. So we're gonna audible into a debug session, I guess. <laughs> um, that's fine. Uh, let me add another. Just gotta roll with it, you know. You can't. Uh, you just gotta roll with it. No. Um. I just pushed the version 1.0, 
and it just got released on Maiden, so this is this is exciting. Um, Well, let's see what we can see. <laughs> Turn on dev mode. Set up a little test case for ourselves because I know we're going to need this. Uh, This is um, gonna set up a scene for us so we don't have to manually create it every single time. Oops. You know, you'd think after. Um, However, hundreds of hours I've put into this, I'd know my X and Y by now, but I don't. Okay, so we can see when this hits four, it's just jumping back down to zero. So there's some there's some problem with the um, the collision. Uh, Set charge, maybe. So what Solariums are supposed to do, it would probably help if I shared that. Um, what they're supposed to do is they store up charges and then they release those charges once the capacity is met. So it's going to invert all of its ports and then spit them all out. Okay, so here's where the charge exists. Charges can be from anywhere from 0 to 100, so you can store up to 100 different s signals inside a Solarium. You can kind of think of them as a buffer. Um, so this all is just simply setting an integer value, so our problem isn't going to be here. It has nothing to do with this. Um, It's getting hit. It probably is somewhere in the setup and teardown. So Solarium is not listed here, but it should be inside. Oh, the flag. Yeah, I did a little bit of work with this. See if we even get a so oh you guys can't see you all can't see my uh can't see that, can't see my face. Okay, so this is not evaluating to true. Um, so it's not even getting here. Spawn signals. Collide signals. So in this setup, we're going to compare capacity and charge. And if the charge is greater than the capacity, we're flagging it as true, we're inverting the ports, we're setting the charge to zero. So setting the charge to zero is working. It's really interesting to see that zero snap down at a 
irregular rhythm like that, so that's a clue. And the ports aren't inverting either. Let's see if we even get... I guess I'll keep going. I'll put a timestamp on here or something telling you where to skip forward if you don't want to watch this. So. Feel like it has to do with this. Charge. Hi, 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 hi. Kind of disturbed at how it's not, it feels like it's lagging or something. charge So we're comparing the capacity and charge on the setup because Solariums work on the next beat. And then on the teardown. Yeah, that's all right. So as you can see, Solariums have all these kind of unique um, functions. Yeah, the teardown's still happening.
This all looks like it's working. There it is. So the bug was uh, during refactoring, I this condition was hitting, was applying to the solarium before it um, so for each cell, it goes through this is spawning to ask the question, are signals coming out of it? And when it came to Solarium's turn, this would evaluate to false. And then it never made it to this part. Great. Um, Gonna make sure I didn't. Uh, change anything else anywhere. Oh, I set the charge instead of hard coded it with the method. I like that change. So that's all good. So it's exciting. We get to bump the first, first patch. probably start adding more helpful commit messages, but I'm going to push this right now because there's going to be people downloading it.
So, where were we? Um, let's let's start over here. All right, solariums. So now that we've seen the inner workings of them, it should make a lot more sense. Um, all right, so we have our solarium. Uh, it has a charge and capacity. Once the capacity is met, on the next beat, it's going to invert all of its ports and send signals out. So you can think of it like a little buffer. So one, two, oh, that's kind of wrong. One, two, three, four, boom. Um, something that's kind of neat is you can artificially change the amount of charge on it. Uh, you can actually perform it. So you can just crank it up or you could hold it kind of open or you could nudge it down. Um, capacity is your denominator. It can go all the way up to 100. So you can have solariums with immense capacity. And again, sort of like gates, it inverts the ports when, it, when it's ready to do its thing. So uh, that makes for some really fun patterns. So you can build these little like solar arrays that store energy and then disperse it to other people, to other arrays. All right, that's the solarium. And then last, as a creator, you're really not supposed to say what your, what your favorite is, but um, these might be my favorite. So tunnels, tunnels. have one one attribute and it's the network network is anything a to z let's make a hive let's make another tunnel Set them on the same network. It's a teleporter. Signals go in, and then they come out. All other um, tunnels on the same network. They're bidirectional. So if we put if we put a hive right here. Um, there's going to be Let's close that and open that. Now, now this tunnel is sending signals to this tunnel. Um, remember the copy feature? Really fun with tunnels. So here we have we just made a whole bunch of tunnels. Um, and then you can get crazy and do things like, we're gonna change the network of this one to B and the network of this one to B. So then uh, over here, let's change the network of this one to B. So now, it's like impossible to see because there's so much going on right now. So that was one of my B tunnels, but oh well. Anyways, you have 26 different networks. You can imagine what that means from a possibility standpoint. So yeah, that is tunnels. So put this on a different network. 
was it D? So those are the processors. I think we're almost done with these videos. I'm gonna do one more about all of the music makers. So I'm gonna get that queued up. We'll see if we can find any more bugs in the process. Thanks for watching.